All right, I got a letter here from a brother in Scotland. I'm not going to read your name. Um, I don't do that unless somebody specifically says share my story or whatever else. I keep names private. But the question is, why does the King James Bible say in Revelation 13 and Revelation 14 about the mark being in the forehead, and yet in Revelation 20 it says about upon the forehead? Well, there's a couple theories on that. Let me just give you... Let's go to the actual scriptures. Turn in your Bible, your King James Bible. Don't go to the new versions because they don't say in. They mess everything up. So you don't go to those new versions from the Vatican, like the NIV or the NASV, ESV, whatever other satanic nonsense. New King James, that throw that one in there too. Revelation chapter 13, uh, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. There you see it. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Six, six, six. That's the mark of the beast. Okay, Revelation 14, go down there, verse 9, <clears throat> and says here, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and to receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, there you see it again, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture, into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So again, two places we see it there, in the forehead. Okay? In the right hand, or in, in the hand, in the forehead. Okay? Right there you see it. Um, and right hand, actually, it does say in Revelation 13, 16. Now, if you keep your hand there, and you go over to Revelation chapter 20, uh, verse 4, it says, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, uh, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Now, obviously it's saying two different things there. Is this a contradiction? No. Anytime you see a supposed contradiction in your King James Bible, I will tell you this right now, it is always an advanced revelation, some kind of a, a thing. That, and I don't mean that it, you couldn't have found this in the original Greek or Hebrew or whatever. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's always a very interesting little nugget of truth that the Lord is giving there. That's why the lost world will look for contradictions to try and disprove the Bible. And all that they're doing is, the Bible talks about, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. God will deceive people. If they want to disbelieve the Bible, He'll give them what they want. Okay, um, But if you're a Christian, if you're saved, uh, this book will work only when you believe it. All right, When you just believe it and you say, well, it's saying two different things. I don't really understand, but it's God's book. I believe it. I just, you know, Lord, help me to understand it. God will come in and He will bless you greatly when you do that. Now let's look at the reason why there's a difference here. Now, first of all, what happens in the early part of this time of Jacob's trouble? Well, you have a pretty high-tech world and everything, I would say, definitely. I mean, we're not going to be here. The body of Christ gets caught out before this thing. That's what really is going to trigger in this whole movement. Of course, it's the signing of the peace treaty. You go back to the book of Daniel. It's a signing of that peace treaty between the Jews and the Arabs, essentially, over there. And uh, with the Antichrist, he's going to bring in peace in the Middle East and, and uh, of course, around the world. By peace, he'll destroy many. But the point is, he's going to bring in this cashless system. The cashless system could come in tomorrow. I mean, they're already ready with the thing. The whole implantable microchip, uh, biometrics, all this stuff, it's insane. But the first part of the time of Jacob's trouble... If you look at some of the plagues and things that are going on, it's going to be really bad. But you get towards the end of it, and it gets really bad. The last part of that time of Jacob's trouble, that final three and a half years, it gets super bad in that time period. Now, my theory is, I believe, the first three and a half years is going to be, appear to be peaceful because the technology is going to be there, the mark of the beast is going to work, and whatever else. But in the last part, there's probably going to be solar flares. The Bible talks about men being scorched with great heat. 
So there's probably solar flares, which is going to wipe out the technology. And then you're going to have to rely on something else. So I would say that, that my theory here, and the Bible does not openly spell this out exactly like this, but this is my theory. The Bible does say at the beginning there's a mark that's there to use, being used to buy and control selling. Selling and buying. In the, in the later part, it's like they're using horses in battle. There's great darkness. People can't see. Technology's been wiped out towards the end of the time of Jacob's trouble. So my theory is at the beginning of the time of Jacob's trouble, the implantable microchips in the right hand, in the forehead, will work just fine. Towards the end, they're not working anymore. And it's funny, too, because I actually heard a... a theory i'm not i'm not sure even where this verse is but it talks about at one point that that the men upon whom they that have taken this mark of the beast there's going to be a great sore there that they get and i heard a guy say the one time well if these chips have some kind of little lithium battery in them or something like that and there's some kind of a solar flare or some big thing and, and it pops those little batteries it's going to make a boil on their skin it's going to essentially battery acid coming up through your skin you know, ouch <laughs> or out this way through your skin. So I believe towards the end it's going to be ruined, and so they're going to literally have to put marks upon the forehead to be able to tell the difference. That's a theory. Okay. The other theory would be that they could be both at the same time. In other words, you would have, uh, you want to take the chip in your hand or in your forehead, uh, there people have said, you know, that in the hand will be for civilians, in the forehead will be for the military. I don't know. That's another theory. But the point is, it'll be, it could also be in the hand, in the forehead, as far as the implantable microchip, or, or, or excuse me, not or, it can be that, hand or forehead, choice is yours, or, at, I keep saying or, <laughs> and, upon the forehead. In other words, it would be a QR code or some kind of a scannable thing there. Because even though there's a lot of Wi-Fi and technology stuff and whatever else, you're going to, in this future time period, people will be walking around and not be in direct relation to scanners and whatever else. So you would need to be able to look visually and see somebody, do they have this mark upon their forehead? You know, so that's another theory. It could be both. It could be at the very beginning. Anybody that gets the mark, you either, you have a choice to have the chip in the fore or the in the right hand or in the forehead, and then you also get the mark upon the forehead. Again, you know, do, does the whole tattoo craze of today, you know, does that tie into the thing? I would say yes. I believe that it will be a tattooed thing upon the forehead. And again, they have these QR codes. You can actually get one tattooed upon your forehead that actually will link to your Facebook account. Right now, I reported on that thing probably, what, a year or two ago, a couple years ago. Yeah, so um, to this brother that wrote that, that's, that's how I would answer that. Um, it's, we can't know as Christians right now because um, this whole Mark of the Beast system is going to be coming in after we're gone. So it's not really written to us. But you can look at it and you can see, well, either it's going to be two things happening at the same time. Um, where you can take the option will be implantable microchip in the hand, in the forehead, and then in combination with a mark, physical mark upon the forehead, a tattoo. Uh, that could be the case, or it could be early on. It's the implantable microchips. Later on, because later on there, Revelation 20, you're seeing it's those saints that have basically um, been beheaded and things like that in that time. I don't know. But... It could be later on as the technology breaks down that they're going to have to have the printed mark upon the forehead. Just a theory. I don't know. But uh, there's no contradiction there. Absolutely not. Um, it's not saying two totally different things and, and somehow there's a contradiction. No, not at all. Um, just an interesting thing there about what the future has. So I hope that answered your question. Uh, if not, write me again and I'll try to <laughs> answer some other way. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Stick by the King James Bible.